often in these short videos, I've used the term absolute point of view. So what is that? First off, the absolute point of view is not a point of view. If it were a point of view, it would not be absolute. So in a way, there is no thing that could be the absolute point of view because the absolute point of view means it contains absolutely everything. And how can you stand outside of absolutely everything to get a view of anything? So in a way, it's a, it's a misleading phrase because it sounds like there is a particular perspective that one can take. And that's not true. It really is more of a, a, um, <clears throat> a view. It's seeing that everything is completely, all the time, totally interconnected. And that there are no things that are interconnected. There's only interconnectedness. There's only constant moving that happens in all places and all times. Things coming together and going apart. On the other hand, it's helpful to talk about uh, uh, what might be ho called holistic. I think Ken Wilber uses the word holon. So each of us is whole. You are whole. I'm whole. A whole person. The only person that is put together in exactly this way, as far as we know, in the cosmos. Same is true for you. And this whole person is composed of all kinds of whole things. Whole molecules, whole organs, whole systems of, ner of nerves, whole, systems of, whole um, systems of blood flow and circulatory system. Each of which is composed of other parts. Each part is in itself whole. A whole molecule of hemoglobin. But each part has a relationship to the larger whole. So this whole person is embedded in a whole environment, is embedded in a whole community, is embedded in a whole nation, is embedded in a whole world. So this little being this little hole on, this little collection, perfect as it is, absolutely just fine, is a part of everything else, which is also absolutely just fine. And it's not a thing, because the nature of any system is it changes. So <clears throat> the practical implication of that is to have deep respect for wherever we stand, Wherever we sit, wherever we walk, wherever we lie, that is where we as an entire, whole, unique person are. And so to have that truth infused with respect and loving kindness is the foundation where this molecule is a molecule of respect and loving kindness. And then it becomes respect and loving kindness inside, outside, and in between. So the absolute point of view, if you want to say that, is the view of connection, appreciation, loving kindness, without boundary.